Here are 101 facts about Porsche that you might not know. Emphasis on might because you Porsche fans are all obsessed. Number 1. Porsche and Ferrari have the same horse on their logo, like the exact same one, because Porsche's logo is derived from the crest of their hometown in Stuttgart, Germany, while Ferrari's horse is an homage to the Italian fighter pilot who famously shot down a German plane over Stuttgart in World War I. Number 2. No Porsche has ever had a grill. And before you ask, no, that's not a grill, that's an air vent. The difference is, air vents are purely functional, whereas grills have the task of defining the car's face alongside its brand. And since Porsche had always had their engines in the back, they didn't need one, which kind of became a part of their style. Number 3. Porsche hates it when people mispronounce their name. So much so, they released an official video on how to pronounce it correctly, and you kind of feel their frustration in the video because it sounds like they're explaining it to children. Porsche. Porsche. But to be fair, it is mostly children who argue about it. And yes, we do intend to say it the wrong way for the whole video. Number 4. When it was unveiled in 1963, the 911 was originally called the 901, but with Peugeot being the annoying, joyless crybabies that they are, they decided to channel their inner Karen, and they threatened to sue Porsche for copyright infringement, because somehow Peugeot had managed to copyright every three-digit number that has a zero in the middle. And since Porsche didn't think a single digit deserved a lawsuit, they turned the zero into a one, and the 911 was legally born. Number 5. As a way to show off the active air suspension on the Panamera Hybrid, Porsche paired one to the gyroscopic sensor of an iPhone to do this. Also, when the developers handed the phone to the journalists, their only note was, don't flip the phone, we haven't tested that yet. Number 6. The Porsche logo always points down to the valve stem of the wheel. Number 7. All motorsports combined, Porsche has won over 30,000 races. Number 8. Porsches are known for their reliability. In fact, two-thirds of the 911s made in the past 60 years are still on the road today, or sitting pretty in a garage somewhere. Number 9. From the 60s all the way up to the 90s, the Dutch police used Porsches as their patrol cars because of their handling, reliability, and speed. Also thanks to their rear-mounted air-cooled engines, they were great at pursuits where they had to be driven in reverse for extended periods of time. That was an actual argument the police used to convince the government. Number 10. In 2017, the Porsche Cayenne S diesel set a world record by towing an Airbus A380 that weighed 285 tons. Number 11. The first appearance of the iconic Porsche logo was on the steering wheel of the 356 in 1952, but it took seven more years for the logo to be placed on their hubcaps and another six years to be featured on their hoods. Number 12. Although driving a Porsche isn't easy, it's also not that hard, especially with all the driver assists, but that wasn't always the case. In fact, they were so sketchy back in the 60s that Porsche welded cast iron blocks to their bumpers, making their cars heavier and giving them more traction, kind of like training wheels but less effective. Number 13. Only two 918s made it out of the factory without any paint on them whatsoever. Why? To save weight. 14 pounds to be exact. Number 14. Currently the best-selling Porsche is the Macan. Number 15. This is the 956C, and it had so much downforce at 200 miles per hour that it could be driven upside down. So naturally, Porsche hung it upside down at their museum. Number 16. There's a very real and big issue with Porsches being stolen right now. Sorry, with their headlights being stolen because the Panamera and the Cayenne have a design flaw that allows you to remove the headlights in a matter of seconds. The one time a German engineer decided to make life easy for a mechanic, and this is how they do it. Number 17. In the early 2000s, Porsche designed a 5.7-liter V10 engine to use in their LMP race cars, but due to new regulations, they weren't allowed to use it anymore. So, they decided to build a car around it, and that's why we have the Carrera GT, which sounds like this. Number 18. Porsche made over 120,000 tractors between 1956 and 1963. Number 19. After being absent for 17 years, Porsche decided to return to the 24 Hours of Le Mans in 2014. Excited to have a playmate, Audi decided to welcome them back. In their own way, of course. But three years later, the shoe was on the other foot, and Audi was the one pulling out. Heartbroken and slightly hormonal, Porsche did what would be the equivalent of holding a boombox outside of Audi's window, 
but sadly, Audi didn't come back, and Porsche left a year later. Number 20. The 918 has the same key fob as the base model Cayenne. Number 21. The Panamera was Porsche's first sedan. Actually, it was the first one to make it into production, since they made the 989 prototype in 1988, which still looks as inbred as the Panamera. Number 22. Porsche designs award-winning forklifts. Number 23. In 1978, Porsche tried to replace the 911 with the 928 because they thought a front-engine sports car had more potential and the 911 had reached its limits. Yet here we are, 46 years later. Number 24. Porsche profits an average of $17,000 on each car they sell. As a point of reference, Toyota only profits $2,700 per car. Number 25. For some reason, Porsche has optional leather air vents, which cost around $1,700. Number 26. In 1945, Ferdinand Porsche, the founder of Porsche, was arrested for committing war crimes in World War II because he was close friends with you-know-who, and he built weapons and tanks for the German military. But two years later, he was released and deemed not guilty. Number 27. Porsche's doors don't have a fixed position, meaning you can leave them at any angle and they will stay there. Number 28. Porsche introduced the 911 Targa back in 1965 because they heard rumors that America was going to ban convertibles, so they thought they'd get ahead of it by making a semi-convertible. Number 29. Almost all Porsches had the ignition key on the left side of the steering wheel, because back in the day when Le Mans had a running start, drivers were able to turn the key and put the car in gear simultaneously, saving precious time. And since it was quirky and Porsche were inherently theatrical, they decided to use it on their road cars as well. Number 30. The 919 Hybrid Evo holds the all-time Nürburgring lap record of 5 minutes and 19 seconds. Number 31. In the late 1930s, Ferdinand Porsche designed the VW Beetle for the German government, with the first one being built in Ferdinand's private villa. Number 32. The Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo broke the altitude world record when it traveled 1,600 miles with an altitude change of 4,800 meters, which is around 3 miles. It also holds the EV drift record for drifting 26 miles without stopping. Number 33. This cool old thing is a Porsche 959. And rally heritage aside, one of the most interesting things about this car is its gearbox, the Galand gear to be exact, because Porsche claims that the G stood for off-road, and since it was a rally car, it made sense. But many believe it was actually used to help the car pass the noise regulations, because with the first gear being replaced with G, that means the car would start in second gear, allowing it to have lower revs as it drives off, making it quieter. But what do you think? Number 34. Fans have deemed the 914 to be the worst Porsche ever made. Because, well, just look at the sad little bastard. Number 35. You've probably heard the words club sport package being thrown around by tall, lanky dudes wearing Porsche hats and Omega watches, and you probably don't know what it means. Well, it's a completely free package that you can order with your Porsche, which gives you a bolt-on rear roll cage, a six-point driver's side seat belt, a battery kill switch, and a portable fire extinguisher. But there's a catch. To be eligible for this free package, you must first pay good money for bucket seats. Number 36. Without the Cayenne, Porsche would be bankrupt. Number 37. Speaking of bankruptcy, when Porsche nearly went bankrupt in the 90s, they hired former Toyota engineers to reorganize their production line and supply chain to make them more efficient. Number 38. The center wheel lugs on the driver's side of the Carrera GT are painted red, while the passenger side are painted blue because of the difference in the thread directions. Number 39. Jeremy Clarkson invented the word yeet in 1998 while pouring acid on a 911. Ooh, yeet. Yeet. Number 40. Porsche is currently working on their biofuel called e-fuel, which has no CO2 emissions because it's made out of water and air, but it behaves exactly like gasoline for the engine. They also announced that their fuel will be available before 2030, meaning if all goes to plan, Porsche can save the internal combustion engine from extinction. Number 41. Some might think that the Porsche Cayman is named after the Cayman Islands, but it's not. It's named after this thing, which is spelled like this. Number 42. Porsche only sells six cars, but they have 95 different models in between them. Number 43. Porsche has made a lot of legendary cars over the years, but the most iconic one has to be the 917, especially since it gave Porsche their first ever Le Mans victory. 
And by the way, it still hauls ass today, because its most powerful version made over 1600 horsepower from a twin-turbo V12 in 1973. And if you're not convinced, a 917K recently sold for a little over $14 million, making it the most expensive Porsche ever sold at auction. Number 44. The first 25 Porsche 917s are referred to as secretary cars because when Porsche almost fell behind schedule in assembling them, they brought in everybody who worked at the office, including the secretaries, to build the race cars on time, which they did. Number 45. Porsche makes paper clips in the shape of the 911, and you can buy 100 of these for 20 bucks. Number 46. The wing on the GT3 RS is the first production wing on a Porsche to be higher than the roof of the car. Number 47. Porsche bodies were once made by Recaro, because back then Recaro specialized in making car bodies and interiors, and they were called Reuter Carrosserie. In the 1950s, they were contracted by Porsche to make the bodies for the 356. They did such a great job that Porsche decided to purchase the body-making portion of the company, leaving Reuter Carrosserie with only the interior-making portion, which is when they decided to fully focus on interiors and rebrand to Recaro. Number 48. When you say Porsche, you immediately think of Formula Drift, right? Well, in this case, yes, because Tyler McQuarrie competed in a 993 GT2 RS in 2008. It had a 3.8-liter six-cylinder twin-turbo engine that made 750 horsepower and a lot of smoke. It was also fast as hell thanks to its Porscheiness. Number 49. The Taycan was originally called the Mission E and had suicide doors. Number 50. Remember when I told you the Cayenne saved Porsche from bankruptcy? Well, that wouldn't have been true if they actually made this concept a reality. I don't know why they thought someone would want a Cabriolet Cayenne, but thankfully no one did, so they dropped it. Number 51. Porsche and seven other brands are all owned by the Volkswagen Audi Group, but Porsche AG acquired a majority share of VAG, meaning they owned VAG. So far it makes sense, but what doesn't is the fact that Porsche is still owned by VAG because Porsche and Porsche AG are legally the same entity. My head hurts. Number 52. Since I've already lost you on the last one, I might as well throw this in. Porsche and Remac got into a joint venture to combine Bugatti with Remac, making the Bugatti Remac Group, which Porsche owns a 45% stake of, while Remac owns the remaining 55%. But the Bugatti name comes first and Porsche is not mentioned at all. Number 53. Don't let the badge fool you. This is not a VW bus. It's a Porsche B32. It was made because Porsche needed a van to transport the spare parts of the 959 rally car, but the little VW couldn't keep up with the rally, so they threw away the old engine and replaced it with an engine from a 911 turbo. They also Frankenstein the 911 suspension to fit on this little van to make it drivable, but don't start looking for one just yet because they're worth around $400,000. Number 54. Porsche has the Paint to Sample program, where you can have them paint your car in whatever color you want. And if you're thinking about ordering a new Porsche and have too much money, let me give you my pitch. <clears throat> now, we all know you're not going to drive like a normal person. In fact, you will drive like a, uh, let's be honest, like a dickhead. So you might as well go into Porsche and have them paint sample your dickhead. So when people say, oh, what a dickhead, Head. They're actually complimenting your paint job, and your... Anyways, just, just think about it. Number 55. The Porsche Boxster was specifically designed to use parts from the 911 to cut down on inventory and development costs because Porsche was going through a very bad financial crisis and they couldn't afford to build the 989 to appeal to a broader audience, so the next best thing was making a cheaper version of the 911. Number 56. Porsches with carbon ceramic brakes have yellow brake calipers, while those fitted with steel brakes have red calipers. Number 57. Bootsy Porsche, the grandson of Ferdinand Porsche, was kicked out of industrial design school for lack of talent, so when he later went to work for his father, Ferry Porsche, he decided to prove everyone wrong by designing the 911, which was immediately met with criticism and rejection from Porsche's head designer. But he wasn't going down without a fight, so he called up a private contractor to build his 911 prototype to show his dad what the 911 could be, and the rest is history. Number 58. Porsche broke the slalom world record in 2020 when 16-year-old kart racer Chloe Chambers swam through 51 cones in 47 seconds. Number 59. 
Bill Gates loves two things, remote islands and Porsches, which is why he went on a long legal battle when the US didn't allow him to import his recently bought 959. His determination to drive his Porsche resulted in the show and display amendment, which allows cars with a limited run of 500 vehicles or less to bypass the 25-year rule for importing non-federalized vehicles. He's also allegedly not a big fan of the 18-year-old rule. Number 60. This is the first 918 ever made. It's known as the 918 prototype rolling chassis, which was built to showcase and test the technology used in the 918 before its production cycle. Number 61. This is arguably the first Porsche ever made, which is called the Egger Loner C2 Phaeton. It was built by Ferdinand Porsche using his Loner Porsche system when he was working at Lonerwerke. It was also the first hybrid electric car in the world, since it used a combustion engine to drive the two electric motors mounted on the front wheels, making seven horsepower combined. It was made in 1898, 126 years ago. Number 62. Black and red are the most popular colors amongst Porsche buyers. Number 63. Porsche is a true enthusiast brand, but for some reason they made an eco sh** box for the Chinese market back in 1994, which was called the C88. By the way, even they didn't like it. In fact, they were so ashamed by it that it didn't even have a Porsche logo, but thankfully it never made it into production. Number 64. For a while, Porsche made an entry-level 911 called the 912. It had a smaller 1.6-liter four-banger, made it to a four-speed manual. It was also much lighter. The 912 was in production from 1965 to 1969, and again in 1976, but it was discontinued indefinitely so it wouldn't impede on its older brother's success. Number 65. The first car to bear the Porsche name was the 1939 Porsche Type 64. It was built for a long-distance race from Berlin to Rome, but sadly it never saw competition because World War II became a thing. Number 66. The 1997 Porsche 944 became the first car in America to come standard with both the driver and the passenger side airbags. That was at a time when airbags weren't even mandatory. Number 67. The Porsche 924 was originally developed by Volkswagen, but Porsche ended up with the rights, even though they were built in an Audi factory. Number 68. This may look like an old 911, but it's not. It's a 2018 SCR made by a company called Roof that was founded in 1939. They started by servicing and repairing Porsches, but later evolved into making their own cars with their own VIN numbers, classifying them as Roofs and not Porsches. One of the coolest cars they've made is the CTR3, which had around 800 horsepower and a top speed of 236 miles per hour. Number 69. If you don't like snitches, don't buy a Porsche. Why? Because they have an interesting little feature called the over-rev counter, which counts how many times the engine has revved past its limit. So next time you're driving like a maniac and downshifting to brake late, remember that your car records everything, and it will tell on you, and you will lose money. Number 70. Porsche placed a little flap on the 928's gas cap that says, Oil OK? to remind their owners to check their oil every time they fill up, which is very German of Porsche. Number 71. Unlike other electric cars, the Taycan has a dual-speed transmission. Number 72. From 2000 to 2016, EA Games had an exclusive deal to use Porsches in their games, meaning no one else could use them without sublicensing it from them. That's why some of the older games used roofs instead of Porsches. Number 73. Both the Mercedes 500e and the Audi RS2 were developed and built by Porsche on the same assembly line. Number 74. For the first two years of the Porsche 356's production, it was built in a sawmill in Gmünd, Austria, and those versions are highly sought after because in that period they were built out of aluminum instead of steel. Number 75. On the Porsche Macan, the clamshell hood, the side blades, and the three-spoke steering wheel are all specifically designed to resemble the 918. I don't know about you guys, but I always have to look twice at a 918 so I wouldn't mistake it for a Macan. Number 76. Porsche actually has Sally from the movie Cars in their museum. They also made a one-off 911 Sally special as a tribute to the Pixar movie, which sold for $3.6 million at a charity auction. Number 77. When you open the door on the newer Porsches, the windows go up, so when you close the door, the glass wouldn't rattle. Number 78. 
When Ferry Porsche, Ferdinand's son, heard about Soichiro Honda's policy of no family members in the company, he decided to reorganize Porsche in 1972 because he believed the company had outgrown being a family business, so he brought in outsiders to the board, basically kicking his own family out. Upset by the recent development, Ferry's son, Bootsy Porsche, decided to branch out, and he created Porsche Design in 1972. They were soon known for their high-quality watches and sunglasses, especially after creating the world's first black chronograph watch, and they remained completely independent from Porsche until their acquisition in 2005. Number 79. In the first year of the 917's racing career, it didn't perform nearly as well as Porsche had hoped, because the car had no grip in the rear, until an engineer noticed that all the dead bugs were scattered on the front of the car, while the tail was squeaky clean meaning there was no air passing on the tail of the car, so they modified it by giving it a higher, longer tail, which definitely did the trick. Number 80. Porsche painted the Mission X in this metallic brown color because they want people to think of it like a luxury car, even though it looks like a street-legal LMP car. Number 81. Porsche has recalled the 918 six times. Number 82. We all know how wagons are the coolest car ever. Well, what if Porsche made a shooting break? That's exactly what a group of engineering students in the Netherlands asked themselves, and the answer is this. It's a 986 Boxster modified to look like the baddest, most practical sports car ever. In my opinion, it looks better than the clown shoe. You could fight me in the comments. Number 83. Speaking of weird crazy builds, this is a 928 with a turbine engine. It runs on jet fuel and it has 350 horsepower and 700 foot-pound of torque. It also has a top speed of 160 miles per hour, all while getting 17 miles per gallon. Number 84. Remember when the party poopers had Porsche change the 901 name? Well, before the change took effect, Porsche had already made 82 units with the 901 nameplate, which were primarily used for testing, but some of them made it into the public's hands, including this 1964 Porsche 901, which was bought in an actual barn find after sitting for over 40 years in 2015. It was restored and later sold for over $300,000. Number 85. Porsche has made only one version of the 911 with the engine in the middle. It was a purpose-built race car called the 911 GT1 and only 21 road-legal versions were ever sold to the public, and only one of them was a GT1 Evo, which had a top speed of 202 miles per hour. Number 86. This is the Porsche 550 Spider, also known as the Giant Slayer. It had a tiny 1.5-liter four-cylinder engine making 110 horsepower and 80 pound-feet of torque. This tiny warrior was the result of Porsche implementing the power-to-weight method, and that nickname wasn't given to it because of how cute and dainty it was. It earned it by beating the bigger and more powerful racing cars of the time, which just goes to show that size doesn't matter. Ladies. Number 87. This is a very special one-of-one one 1966 Bertone 911 Spider. It was built because a Southern California Porsche dealer by the name of Johnny Von Neumann didn't like the Targa Top 911, and he wanted to convince Porsche to make a limited-run convertible by building this prototype. It was designed by Nuccio Bertone, who is the same guy that designed the Miura, the Countach, the Dino, and the Lancia Stratos. But sadly, Johnny didn't succeed in his plan, making the Bertone 911 a one-off classic. Number 88. Ferdinand Porsche designed the Mercedes-Benz Type 80 in 1939 to be the fastest car in the world with its 370 mile per hour top speed. But again, due to the outbreak of World War II, it was never tested. Number 89. Since its conception in 1963, the 911 has never been produced outside of Stuttgart, Germany. Number 90. You can buy an LS swap kit for your 911. Yes, it fits. Number 91. Porsche has released 2,363 official NFTs of the 911, which are now worth around $1,200 each. Number 92. The memory option on newer Porsches doesn't just remember where your seat is positioned, it also remembers the AC and the gauge cluster settings. Number 93. Porsche designed the engine for the Harley-Davidson V-Rod. Number 94. In 1967, the 911 became the first production car to receive forged aluminum wheels. Number 95. You've probably seen these sick-looking wide-body 911s on the internet. Well, they're all made by this guy, Akira Nakai, who founded RWB in 1997. And this particular RWB is very special, because it's the very first one that Akira made, which he still owns to this day. 
Number 96. This is completely stock. It's called the 911 Dakar, which is a 4x4, 470 horsepower, factory spec rally car. It has 161 millimeters of ground clearance and can reach a maximum top speed of 105 miles an hour off-road. It's also $223,000. Number 97. When Jeremy Clarkson's father was in the hospital in 1994, he was test driving a 928, and he said if he hadn't been driving that car, which could happily cruise at 170 miles per hour, he wouldn't have been able to say goodbye to his father. Number 98. In 2012, Porsche started a program to remake their vintage emblems by hand for those looking to restore classic Porsches to preserve their car's authenticity. Number 99. Porsche hasn't competed in Formula One since 1964. Number 100. You can't access the engine bay on the 992 GT3 RS, and it doesn't have any frunk space either. Number 101. Porsche made their last air-cooled engine in 1998. And we're done. Make sure to subscribe so you can vote for what brand comes next.